G'day, Josh Jamelli here from Condiment Group's Farming Head magazine, and we're back in the workshop today uh, with thanks to Harry and Forbes for sponsoring our workshop tips. And I thought I'd look a little bit about uh, nuts and bolts and uh, thread identification and a few quick and easy tips to tell uh, what the thread might be that you've got. So if you grab some bolts, have a look at the head marking. Now we see this marking here, see it's got radial lines. So any graded bolt, that's UNC, so uh, Unified National Course or UNF, uh, which is fine, will have these marking so you know that that's an imperial thread bolt straight away and you know it's pretty easy then to work out the diameter just uh, you know you can use any kind of uh, calipers or anything like that to, to find out what size that is likewise the metric pretty easy to determine the size just by the diameter you know that it's a metric bolt because it's got a grade marking in numbers on it so grade 8.8 .8 there likewise lower strength bolts got 4.6 on it now, where you might run into trouble, if you've uh, got any of the kind of older, weirder threads hanging around, like uh, BSW, so Whitworth thread, uh, so a half inch Whitworth bolt, like that fella, looks very similar to a half inch UNC bolt. Uh, a lot of Whitworth threads uh, will actually screw into UNC fasteners, even though the threads are a slightly different form. But this one always trips people up because the UNC is 13 threads an inch, and the Whitworth is 12. So it's almost enough to screw the nut on and have it uh, jam up halfway through. You see if we put about an inch worth of threads on there, they just don't quite match up. So that's a good one to watch out for. In terms of determining what threads you've got, Imperial threads are measured in threads per inch. So if you really want, you can actually measure out an inch and uh, you, can, you can count the threads. Metric threads are measured uh, in pitch, so that's actually the distance between two successive threads. So that's actually pretty hard to measure, but you can do it if you need to, just measure between the crests. Um, otherwise, you can use a tap uh, or a button die or something with a known thread to match up, um, or even uh, we've shown these thread files before and uh, you can use those to kind of match up the threads. Or failing that, this is a thread pitch gauge, and I've got thread pitch gauges for UNC uh, and F and metric and also Whitworth, and so you basically go along and you line that up to find out which thread actually fits in the form. Another quick tip, nylock nuts. You see the color of the inserts? See how they're different? The white one is an imperial thread, and the blue one is a metric thread. It's a pretty handy little tip there to remember. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.